Today I will be showing you how to use GHI's new tool, the MF Deploy Stager Alpha 1. I would like to give a quick thanks to Chris Walker as well as Brian Jepson for their efforts in the area of Linux development and deployment support. However, we still found it a little bit difficult to get everything up and running and deploying to a NetMF device from Linux with code compiled on Linux. So, GHI has created this new tool that simplifies the process down to something of what Visual Studio would do for you if you were developing for a NetMF device on Windows. Now, if you have not done so already, I highly suggest you check out the wiki page that is in the comment of this video. This will guide you through the entirety of the process as well as setting up the prerequisite packages that will be needed to complete this process using MF Deploy Stager Alpha 1 for Linux. Now, on to the reason we are all here. Go ahead and open up a file browser to the home folder and navigate to the GHI MF Deploy Stager Alpha 1 folder and go into the bin directory of this folder. From here, open up Deploy Stage and when this window pops up you will simply click load project file navigate to the project file in which you want to be parsed and click open now you will select the type of board in which you are deploying to currently there is only serial debugging support so you will be selecting the fez spider and make sure that your serial is on the uart1 socket or socket 11 of the spider click OK. And this will automatically parse your project file as well as bring in any references and assembly dependencies and convert those into a database and then convert that into the proper S record for your board. Once this process is finished, you can go back to the bin directory of GHI MF Deploy Stager Alpha 1, right click on mfdeploy.exe, and open with Mono Runtime. Now if you are using an RS-232 to USB converter as I am, you will select the USB 0 or USB 1 of the TTYs. If you are using a straight serial hookup, you will need to figure out which TTY your device belongs to. To ensure that you are properly connected to the board, go ahead and press Target, Connect, and then Reset your NetMF device. And once you see what we have here, you are properly connected to the proper device. So go ahead and press target, disconnect, and browse to the bin directory of your project, and then deploy directory, and select your hex file, which is now your application. Once that is loaded in, go ahead and press deploy. This will go ahead, connect to the device, erase the current application, and overwrite it with your new application that you are deploying to. And congratulations, you have developed and deployed to a generic NetMF device 